More and more breaking news out of the NBA. That is not surprising. Here's what may be, not sure how you think about it, the Boston Celtics acquiring Malcolm Brogdon from the Indiana Pacers. Brogdon averaged better than 19 points per game this past season. However, he did only appear in 36 games because of injuries, plural. This is another piece for the Celtics, who lost to the Warriors in six games in the NBA Finals. So let's take a look at the details of the trade here. Pretty simple. Um, the Celtics get Malcolm Brogdon. In return, the Pacers get five players, also a 2023 first-round pick. Uh, that list of players includes former first-rounder Aaron Neesman. Let's welcome in Avery Johnson on the phone to talk about the details of this trade, what he thinks about it. Avery, the Celtics getting Malcolm Brogdon, uh, the Pacers in return getting five players, including a 2023 first-round pick. What do you think about it? I love this move for the Celtics because you, again, improve your quality depth on the perimeter. Uh, we, we know Marcus Smart is an outstanding player, defensive player of the year. But the more you can find additional ball handlers to take pressure off of Marcus Smart so that he won't have to consistently initiate the offense. And also, Jason Tatum, who was a little bit turnover prone uh, with 100 turnovers in the NBA playoffs, you want to find another playmaker and ball handler so that he can be in more catch and shoot situations. Uh, so, smart move by the Celtics. Uh, they unloaded some guys who weren't really rotational, consistent rotational players. Now you get Ma Malcolm Brogdon, who's a proven NBA starter, NBA rotation guy. So smart move for the Celtics. It's not like the Celtics, Avery, needed a ton of pieces. I mean, obviously they made it to the NBA Finals. Is this the missing piece for them, or do they maybe need to make some other moves? Well, I think the other move or the missing piece is for Jason Tatum to continue to get better and improve and take care of the basketball. You can bring in a million more pieces, but if Jason Tatum's going to have six turnover quarters and not take care of the basketball and, and play at a star level and not a superstar level, that's, that's what they need to happen. So adding additional pieces, quality pieces is going to help, but your best player – has to play like a superstar and the way he does plays that way is take care of the ball ball security uh body control uh not getting stripped as much when he goes to the basket and if if, if jason tatum can take that next step forward and guys that are the supporting cast can play at a high level including malcolm brockton and jalen brown uh you know al horford who's not getting any younger then they'll have a chance to not only get back to the finals, but win the NBA championship. All right, a chance to win the NBA championship, uh, which they did last season, didn't quite do it. Let's take a look at the odds. Entering today now to win the NBA championship, there's been a shakeup toward the top. At first, it was just the Warriors, followed by the Suns. Uh, the Celtics, with this move, are now even with the Suns and the Warriors at plus 600 to win the NBA championship in 2023. Avery, where do you, what do you think about the odds where they stand right now? Well, I, I, the odds reflect, you know, my feelings. With the Warriors and the Suns, those are my top two teams. Uh, th those teams arguably could be vying for the championship via the, the Western Conference Finals. Um, I think Dallas would have been up there had they been able to re-sign Jalen Brunson, uh, especially coming off of a year where they advanced uh, past the first round of the playoffs for the first time in, in what, 11 years. Uh, the Eastern Conference, uh, I, I, you know, P.J. Tucker, man, it just seems like he's a winner the last couple of years wherever he goes. So I like, you know, Philadelphia's improved chances. Uh, I don't like the move for Miami losing P.J. Tucker. When, when P.J. left the Milwaukee Bucks, they took a step back uh, by only making it to the Eastern Conference semifinals. So overall, I like the standings, and I'm definitely uh, in favor of the Warriors being uh, in the, the favors to, to repeat uh, with the Suns a close second. Avery, really quickly before we let you go, uh, give a word to Pacers fans how they should be feeling right now, and maybe not not even this upcoming season, but over the course of the next couple of years. Yeah, this is a rebuild for Rick Carlisle. This is what he signed up for. Uh, this team 
is not a team that's going to naturally attract, you know, high level free agents. Uh, they, they've had years, you know, when, when they've played, you know, some really good basketball, but this is going to be a long rebuild. So just, uh, Patience is a virtue. That's what my mom used to say, and that's what the Pacers fans, they're going to need a lot of patience. Well, you know Rick Carlisle well. He signed up for that, as you said. Avery Johnson, thank you so much for joining us here on HQ for the very latest around the NBA.